This is not a drill. We are at condition 10. Not exactly the best day to go outside. Snowstorm time. Anyway, what's up guys? King Racer here. Then back to the new video. I decided to start the new year 2024 with uh, an update on my uh, diecast vehicle collection. And today we're going to take a look at all of my fire and EMS vehicle collection stored in these three big huge storage rack. As you can see a lot of duplicates and a lot of different vehicles, brush trucks, pumpers, hazmat trucks, fire chief, ambulance, ladder truck, all kind of cool stuff. And today we're gonna sort and uh, make a cleanup of the collection by putting all of them in my uh, wood table. And we're gonna take also a bigger look at all of the vehicles that I accumulated over the past years. So after a few minutes, I was able to empty two of my cases. And what you see on the table presently uh, right now is the uh, creme of the creme of my collection. So only the best and the most realistic models. So we're gonna take a quick look at all of the models right now. They're mostly assorted by uh, type of trucks. So what you see right now is all my ladder truck. These are the wheel rocking rig lines which are no longer available here in Canada, unfortunately. Such a shame because these are very nicely detailed truck. Here we have a few common vehicles. These were pretty cheap. I got them on eBay for 10 bucks each with free shipping from a Chinese seller. I was not trusting him at the first place, but when I got the first truck, I was quite impressed. So more ladder trucks, these are mostly repeats because when I when I get them I pick them up by the the few numbers. Here's a few bumper trucks. A few FDNY units. These are green light models, you can see by the details. Especially these uh, old pickup trucks, all the uh, fire gear in the back, they look so nice. This one's probably my most recent acquisition. This is a Ford E350 ambulance. New casting, also from Greenlight. And then we have a whole bunch of uh, international bumper. This is a new casting from last year from Gre uh, Matchbox. This uh, little sea grave here. Fantastic. I kind of wish it would have been in the uh, real working rig line instead of the uh, just the uh, moving parts but that's okay Another color of this guy this was uh, one of the more generic models the, uh, I think the 2006 fire truck something like that not so terrible pretty uh, pretty decent model if you ask me better than this one here Tire trucks a little bit there uh, needs to be desired and too small and a whole bunch of uh, other excuse me more of the uh, pumper a few brush trucks international matchbox did also a phenomenal job doing this one back in the day but uh, now it's all plastic so it's less interesting to collect this one is metal of course these are real toys fdny units and of course we have the pierce dash which is probably the most popular truck in the matchbox fire department world also have a few colors of this guy including the um, Supreme Hero Rhyme version with the uh, rubber tires and this is the uh, Century Anniversary Edition it was back in 2013 I believe it was a very cool truck a 
And then we have a few other colors here. The same truck. This one white. Here we have the Dennis Saber. This one's the ladder truck version. You can see the bumper on the back. This one we have the hazmat hazmat truck, the hazard squad, I believe. Also we have a few version of this one, including this uh, FDNY release. Probably the best one. Excuse me, I'm gonna reposition here because this is a long table. So a lot of FDNY. I was able to pick up a lot of them actually, so it's good to me, especially with this uh, nice chrome and the fact that it is the last version with the metal body before it turned also all plastic. And then we have another nice version here. This is the also the Supreme Aero version with the rubber tires, and we also have another license deco. This one's the Dallas. Fort Worth Airport fire truck. Here's a nice one. This is the Yatning Emblems. I have this and also this FDNY version, which is a little bit better. The Hummer. This back here opens up, revealing an ATV. These are the Oshkosh ladder truck. These are very, very, really confusing back in the day because uh, Matchbox produced this truck and uh, may still also produce the same exact truck. And they were quite uh, difficult to uh, get a difference because they were very similar. And here we have the Freightliner tanker truck. This is probably the most re released version. The, all the Matchbox fire truck, which is unfortunate because it's a great casting. We have the classic one. I think this is a Mac. Yeah, Mac CF. I think this one was released only twice. This version, also another version in gold, which is probably inside of this case right over there because it's not the typical looking uh, fire deco. Scan your fire truck. This one's pretty cool too. A little bit skinny. But uh, nice, especially if you compare it to this uh, Dennis here. Dennis is much fatter and bigger, definitely heavy because all this body is metal compared to the Scania. Uh, here we have the Mac uh, auxiliary power truck. I have four versions of this one this one, this one, and this one. Uh, it's a generic uh, fire truck, European style. So matchbox. This one is the uh, what's that one already? I think the Euro City version back in two thousand two, when matchbox were going all uh, fantasy on their casting, it was a pretty bad idea in the era for matchbox vehicles. But I kept this one because. Uh, I used to have it when I was a child, even though I was not so bad, especially with this nice uh, chrome fire hat on the top of the cab. But uh, otherwise, it was pretty terrible here for Matchbox. Here we have a few uh, support vehicles. Here we got some Majorette, ladder trucks, MAN. Same is here. We have a Majorette Mercedes trucks. This one, and also this one, Majorette. Another matchbox, fire tender, and we're moving on to the ambulance. This is the newer casting with all plastic body, unfortunately. And then we are moving on to the nicest one, like this guy, with the metal cab, before they switch it. A few other version, and then we have this one, which is uh, I think last year new casting from Matchbox, also 
this uh, ram ambulance which is fantastic all the body is die cast metal even the doors are metal so pretty impressive vehicle and uh, very happy to add it into the collection i also have this art to find version here the canadian uh, PR Regional Ambulance Service. I like it, this one much better, but I was not able to find more, which is unfortunate. I, w I did found a few of this one, the International, but this one's all plastic and not so great. Ram is much better. This became the International. There's two more. This one's the El Segundo Fire Department. And our major hit, Sonic Flasher. Don't think this one worked. Batteries are dead on this one. Uh, a few generic ambulance from Matchbox here. These ones are pretty good. All diecast body. And they're pretty heavy also. I think they're only missing is the opening doors in the back. This one's not too bad. And then we have an older generation of the Ford ambulance. These three here are custom made. I, I was trying to replicate this design here, but I was not a big fan of the blue and gray, which is was looking more police-ish than the ambulance-ish. So I decided to go with the red and gray for these three. Even I pretty much copy the same design as this one. More major red. Uh, here we have a Renault Master, and this one's the Volkswagen. This one's a Whaley, a Mercedes van. More of the uh, Ford E350 Matchbox. A few different version. version. Metro City, PDH, and Lens. Rescue. Metro Ambulance, this design is pretty bad, gray, not so good. And then we have these ones here, <clears throat> the real toys. These ones were pretty good. I like the fact that this one was getting the full deco treatment. Also have a separate light bar. And I think, uh, yeah, the only thing was not so great is this big ugly pillar. In the back and the fact that this guy did not have a detailed interior at least in the back compartment the front was not too bad with the insert for the steering wheel but uh, yeah this was a eh, a no-go I think I also have a few other versions of this one yeah I have this uh, damper work also have this one with the yellow bumper Pretty much the same deco. And then we have the Hot Wheels version, which is exactly the same casting as the Maisto. It's like uh, one copy of the other one. Don't know who, but uh, there's also a few other versions of this casting here. This is the um, Welly version. But I also have a few other weird versions of my collection, which have a sunroof. And I don't think I have them over there. Unless, uh, nope. Probably not in this box, probably in this one. In this case, I mean. But anyway. So there's that. Let's put this guy back in this position. Whoops. Uh, more real toy ambulance. This one's a little bit more too generic to me. This one's got attacked by the sun. You can tell by the box. And then we have a few Yatming. Van. This one is an interesting one. With this uh, fancy deco. Cadillac ambulance. Classic one. Chevy Tahoe. Another major red. This one's the Dodge Fargo. 
also have another major casting, the Jeeps and the Land Rover. Very common casting from Majorette. Very difficult to find with the ladder though. And this one's the um, Volkswagen Maroc, I believe. And a few other matchbox, the um, Ford. In the back we have a few Tahoes. The old Ford bumper. A few Dodge Rams. And we have a premium casting from Matchbox here. This is the Chevrolet Suburban. This one has opening doors. Pretty cool. I think this one was also available in the NYPD. That goes. GMC and William. Few other towels, our Ford uh, GM ambulance, and then we have a few of the uh, mini pumper here, Ford F three fifty. This back here was uh, red from the factory, but I didn't like it. Was not really very realistic, so I painted black. Looking much better, and the camera doesn't want to focus on the details of the doors. It's focusing too much on the car and the table. Here we go. Like that. And then on the back we have all the Fire Chief cars. I have a few duplicates of this one. Including this Hot Wheels uh, Chevrolet Caprice. Also put some different light bars on this one. This one's the more traditional halogen. We also have the... Uh, Strobe like light bar. And then we have the Welly Caprice as well as the Maestro. And more Chevrolet Suburban, the Matchbox, the other one. A few for the Expedition. More tires. Ambulance in the back. Okay, last row. Here we have a few oldies. The Century, the Buick Century, Hudson Hornet, the Ford Interceptor, Ford Tullus. Two samples of the Charger, different generation. Jeep Cherokee. No, I like, I like Crown Vix. This one's the 2006 version. This one's the 1993 casting. I think there's a wheel variation. On this one, actually. We have the one with those six spoke wheels. And we have the one with the more traditional police issue wheels. I don't remember which one was it. This one from, came out from the 5 pack, I believe, back in 2010 or 9, I don't remember. Yeah, this one is a special one, it's going to be exclusive from the 10 pack. Very, very nice looking for them. One thing missing on this one is probably a cherry. It says Matchbox County Fire Rescue. And uh, a very nice little piece for the collection. Also a very nice casting from Matchbox is this uh, classic Mac B truck. Uh, I think I also have a yellow version, but not in the table for now. Uh, Ford Explorer. More of Yatning vans. Some city vans. Ford van. And the last one, the Seagrave. A classic sea grave. So that's a lot of fire rescue vehicles and ambulance. And this is only the first wave of vehicles. So I'm gonna take a quick I'm gonna take a quick look 
again. And then we're gonna switch to the other vehicles that we did not look at. The remaining ones in the boxes. Lots of nice fire truck here. They're perfect for your city diorama if you're looking for those trucks. I wish Matchbox will release eventually a realistic five pack fire uh, fire pack like they used to do back in the day. Because these days they only uh, mix back the emergency vehicle with random vehicles in their five pack now. Which is quite annoying. Or they just do a uh, re-release of the single pack into the five pack. They are no longer exclusive five packs to look at. There we go. Move it here. That's a lot of vehicles. So if Speed City ever got a fire, major fire in the city, there is no way I'm gonna run out of emergency vehicles. All right, I gotta snap my fingers. I'm gonna turn this into different vehicles. And there is the second part of my collection. So here we have the uh, remaining of my ambulance collection, the ones I really like. And on the back here, we have what I call the spare units, which are used models and some other vehicles. I'm not real sure if I'm gonna eventually keeping them or probably sell them because I am Maybe I just don't like livery or the, they're not just fitting my fire collection that I previously show you. So anyway, let's take a quick look at my remaining of the ambulance. So we have a couple of Chevrolet Suburban here, a few Crown Victorias, some Yatning Dodge Monaco. These are generic Matchbox ambulance. These are, these are the McDonald's style casting. And uh, my table seems to not be on level. You can see here, vehicles are rolling off. Yeah, we have a veteran matchbox casting here. This sold the uh, GM or Ford van. Same for this guy here, the um, rescue squad unit from Hot Wheels. Rescue Ranger, I believe they call it. Don't remember. More generic matchbox ambulance. And then we have a collection of the uh, Maisto ambulance. Very, very generic and uh, common casting. They were offering different uh, color liveries and paint job over the years. The most common one being probably this one. But anyway, still a nice. Uh, Venerable casting from Maisto. And then we have a few vans here. Oregon Transport. Uh, Renault Master Ambulance. And then we have the Majorette New York City Ambulance. Also very common casting. This model is also very available in different variation. And uh, some paint scheme. A few hair poor fire trucks. These are very nice matchbox models with the water gun in the uh, external ladder. Don't have them red yet in a red color. Eventually, I would like to find one. San Xterra, another version of this international ambulance. It's a different casting from the Matchbox version. I think this is the, probably a Maisto or Welly. This is definitely a Maisto. Here's different colors of the um, Pierce Arrow, Pierce Dash, the Hazard Squad. This one's all plastic, unfortunately. Hummers. Uh, there's a different version. The casting I was talking about. 
This one has a full plastic door, no windows, and the painted the details on the top compared to this one. There's also a version of this casting with a big sunroof. Probably my other more uh, beat up collection. These are the Aero CD style fire truck, not very good. And more airport fire tanker trucks, two version, two castings. These ones are cool. The um, real toy with the big uh, spotlight. You eliminate the building like nine times. So you're gonna fire. Uh, the G Wagon. Ford Expedition or Explorer. Uh, I think this is a, a Volkswagen Amarok again. More of the Pierce Dash. Ford Explorer again. Another G Wagon, different color. These are spare of the fire truck, ladder truck. More G Wagon. Uh, Crown Vic. This is the uh, Matchbox Hamblins, the Ram. Love this casting. I'm not very uh, fan of this uh, construction style emergency rescue, but uh, probably gonna repaint them in the future. I think these are the uh, I think the 70th anniversary, yeah, 70th anniversary uh, version. What I've preferred to find more of the white ambulance or the red rescue one from the moving part series. That would have been cool rather than these orange ones. These are two cool versions of these um, hazmat trucks, but unfortunately they are not in good condition. We have this one and also this one. I believe this guy was exclusive, a 10 pack exclusive when the the as, as, Hazard Squad was first released. Excuse me. And this is a generic newer casting from last year, I believe. Uh, Rescue Dasher. The red one was pretty cool, this yellow one not so much. More of the sea grave. It's weird green color. Mag B, nice casting, not so good color. Another color of the rescue dasher. And we have this weird one. Pierce. A few spare of the uh, international pumper, these are all beat up. Camaro, a few spare of the Fog Taurus. This one you can see the uh, change the light bar, it's part of the window so the, instead of being a separate piece. Jeep Rescue, more G Wagon, a very weird color of the Hazard Squad, and even weirder color for this uh, Max CF. A nice Dodge Charger. I don't really know what they were doing this a lot, but uh, it should be in my police collection rather than my rescue collection. Jeep. A few photos. They are fire rescue, but they're white. Lifeguard ones are pretty cool. Also, as you can see, made some details in the back. Painted the surfboard, the rescue gears and everything. It's a nice casting. There's also a licensed version with the San Diego, I believe. Beach. Coast Guard Xterra. Jeep. Generic fire car. And Chevrolet. Uh, Blazer. There we go. I was looking for the name. Hummer. Explorer. And her, uh, unit. Now we are coming to the last vehicles of my fire collection. Hot mm, wheel van, BMW fire car, it's not very realistic, at least in North America. Crown Vix, Land Rover, Coast Car, these are pretty cool. Probably gonna have to add a light bar on these ones. Lamborghini security car, not very realistic. Chevrolet Taos. I think this is a new casting. Hot Wheels Charger. Hellcat light bar. 
And these are pretty cool, the old Chevy vans. Ford Explorer, a Jeep, Hazard Squad. Oh, another Max CF, this one's the ladder truck, made by Willie. Nice casting. Uh, beat up FDNY Crown Vic. And a few other spare units. Five alarm fire truck on hot wheels. And a lot of Yatming van. And pickup trucks. Some Welly GM van. A uh, matchbox knockoff fire truck. This is a weird uh, command unit I found in the Bell Village bag. Hummer and more of these uh, Japanese fire truck. And these ones are probably going to be open up eventually in my video, the future video. And these uh, are the Silvermix, I believe, vans. And that's pretty much it. So, anyway, guys, this was my entire collection of my <laughs> fire emergency and rescue vehicles collection hope you enjoy it i will probably do an update on my police car collection but uh, since i got probably twice the amount of police cars than fire vehicles that's probably gonna take a lot more time to do but uh, i will upload it soon so what's your best uh what you guys like the the best vehicle in this collection let me know anyway uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.